The northern lights, also called aurora borealis, are colored lights that appear in the northern sky. The name aurora borealis comes from the French astronomer and scientist Pierre Gassendi. He called it aurora for the Roman goddess of dawn and boreas, which is the Greek word for the north wind. The northern lights are caused by electrons being blown out by the solar wind. Sounds technical, right? Think of it this way. It's like the sun is putting out these really small particles of electrons into the air. These tiny electrons mix with gases in the Earth's atmosphere, which makes them glow. The best time to see the northern lights is when the skies are clearest. Winter and spring, or between December and April, are the best times to see them. You'll have to stay up super late though. You can see the lights best between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m., way past your bedtime. And you should dress warm. The best place to see the northern lights in Canada is way up north in the Yukon Territories, so you're gonna get chilly. The most common colors of northern lights are green, pink, purple, red, yellow, and blue. Did you know the northern lights appear two to 300 kilometers above the Earth and are bright enough to be seen from space? Earth is not the only planet to have auroras. Scientists have found them on Neptune, Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus. No two northern lights will ever look the same. You will always see different patterns and colors in the lights. The lights also don't just produce beautiful colors. They also make sounds like claps, crackles, and static, but these are hard to hear when there are other noises around us. This is a world map. The star is where we live in Georgia. The arrow is pointing to Canada. This is a map of North America. To the right is a zoomed in map of Canada. The arrow is pointing to the Yukon Territories where it's best to view the Northern Lights. Below is the flag of Canada. We just learned about the Northern Lights. We're gonna work on a couple examples. I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can create a Northern Lights picture. The first one we're going to do is with black construction paper. We're going to be using oil pastels. It's kind of like a waxy crayon that you can smudge with your finger. So on your paper, if you're using black, you're going to draw whatever shape you want. Remember the northern lights are never the same. And you wanna put a thick layer of your oil pastel on your paper. You're going to take your finger and smudge away from the line in this motion for the whole entire line. You can start to see some of the color pulling away to create the look of the northern lights. You want to pull your pastels in the same direction and you can go back and add more color if you want. My next color will be a light green pastel and we're going to do the same motion. So you're pulling away from the line, smudging with your thumb. color of pink. Remember you want to lay on a thick layer of your oil pastel and then smudge away. So all your lines are smudged in the same direction and they can overlap if you want them to. You kind of have to press down really hard get them to smudge. I'm gonna add a little more 
blue. Let's smudge it out a little more. Once you've smudged all your northern lights, you can take a white pastel and start to add little stars, little dots in the background to represent the stars. You could also add, with a black pastel, a tree line underneath the northern lights. We do that by drawing a straight line and then adding lines that come down at an angle. This creates the silhouette of a tree. Don't forget to sign your artwork using your pastels. This is one version of Northern Lights. You can also do it on white paper if you don't happen to have black construction paper or pastels. And I'm going to be using watercolor. Remember when we use watercolor, you want your brush super wet and the palette of color super wet. And we're gonna do the same motion. You're gonna come in and pull up away from your color out into the sky. Make sure to keep your brush wet and pull away from this line, just like we did with the pastel. I'm going to use a green. And do the same thing. You're pulling away from this line. Remember, it's okay if your colors overlap. And every pattern can be different. The last color I'm going to use is a purple. Pull away from the line. Making sure my brush is super wet. Once I have my northern lights, I'm going to use a dark gray to add in a little mountain silhouette like we saw in our pictures. So these will just go up and down like a mountain. Make sure your brush is super wet so you can spread the color. Some parts of the mountain can be darker than others. 
give it that three-dimensional look. So all on all my left sides, I'll be doing a darker line. Then I'll pull down towards the bottom of the paper. If you want, you can also paint the night sky a dark blue or use your gray again to do that. Totally up to you. Don't forget when you're done to sign your artwork. Great job, guys.